Fletch Heights family. We're the Marins family. I'm Brian. I'm Amanda. I'm Lash. And today's story point from our children's Bible story is... People welcome Jesus to do some master cake. Have a great Sunday. Bye. Bye. Big picture, question, and answer. What did Jesus do to save us? Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead. Jesus lived a sinless life, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. It's lesson time! Hi, CH Kids and Families. My name is Miss Renee, and I get to work at the church. One thing I love is celebrating. How many of you like to get together with your family and <laughs> celebrate things? I think birthday parties where we celebrate the special people God made are some of the best celebrations. In our lesson today, it was a special time of celebration for God's special people the Israelites. They were celebrating the Passover when God spared the firstborn sons and brought the Israelites safely out of slavery in Egypt. They were remembering that God had rescued them and it was a big celebration. Many Israelites were traveling from all over to Jerusalem to remember God's rescue of his people. You can find that story in the Bible in Exodus 11. Today's lesson can be found in Matthew 21, Mark 11, Luke 19, and John 12. And as we read and hear Bible stories, we remember that everything in the Bible is true. Now, in our lesson today, Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. They're not quite to Jerusalem when Jesus sends two of his disciples ahead to a village. And Jesus says to them, Go into the village ahead of you. There you will find a donkey and her colt, and they'll be tied up. You untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you should say that the Lord needs them. Well, the disciples, they did what the Lord told them, and it happened just as Jesus had told them. They went where Jesus sent them, and they found donkeys, just as Jesus had said they would. And then they told the owner, just what Jesus had said. And the owner let them take the donkeys, just as Jesus had said they would. So they took their donkeys and they put their robes on the donkey and the colt, and Jesus sat on them. And they all continued their journey into Jerusalem. Now, as Jesus and his disciples entered Jerusalem, a large crowd had gathered. They wanted to see Jesus. The crowd laid their robes on the road ahead of Jesus. They laid palm branches on the road ahead of Jesus. The people were everywhere. The celebration and the honoring of Jesus was everywhere. The crowds were walking ahead of Jesus. The crowds were following Jesus. They came praising God for all the miracles Jesus had done. Now, the Bible tells us they were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. He who comes in the name of the Lord is the blessed one, the King of Israel. Hosanna in the highest heaven. They kept shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. All of these people were treating Jesus as the king who was coming to save them. And he was. But guess what? The religious leaders did not like that. They told Jesus to tell his followers to be quiet. They should not be saying things like that. The religious leaders were upset because the people were following Jesus not them. But Jesus is the Son of God, and it is good for all people to praise him. In fact, the praises of God cannot be stopped. Jesus responded to the religious leaders by saying this, if they don't praise me, the rocks will cry out and praise me. Well, now the crowd that had followed Jesus knew what he had done and who he was, but many people would come to Jerusalem from places far away as well. Some of them had not seen or heard about Jesus. So when Jesus came into Jerusalem, some people started asking, who is this Jesus? 
And the crowds replied, Oh, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Well, they were only half right. Jesus was not a prophet of God. Jesus is God's son. Well, Jesus went to the temple and the, he healed people who could not see. He healed people who could not walk. Jesus healed them. And when the priest and the scribes at the temple saw this, and then they heard the children shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna to the son of David, the priests and scribes asked Jesus, do you hear what these children are saying? The children were saying, the king is here. The king is here, the one who will rescue us. And Jesus said, well, yes, even the children will praise me. I hope you guys praise him. The people were happy to see Jesus. They knew he was the king. And did you know that God told us about Jesus being the king too? Back in Zechariah, a prophet or a messenger from God, he told us a long time ago in Zechariah 9.9, he said, Rejoice, O people of Zion. Shout, O people of Jerusalem. That's what they did as Jesus entered. It goes on to say, Look, your king is coming. He is righteous and victorious, yet he is humble, riding on a donkey, on a donkey's colt. Long before Jesus did this, he came into Jerusalem, God told us so that we would know that Jesus is the forever king, that God sends to save all people who will love and obey God. And guess what else? The Bible gives us something to look forward to. It says in Revelation 19, 11, that Jesus will come back for us riding a white horse as king over everything. I am so glad that God gives us the Bible to tell us about himself and his plans. And when we read the stories and listen to them, we can know him and we can know that he does what he says. We also learn that we should respond by loving and obeying him. And I hope we all do that. Remember, Jesus loves you, and we do too. Bye, guys. Hey, I'm Ty. I'm Monica, and I'm the elementary ministry coordinator here at College Heights. Let's worship together through singing. But your love ran after me Gave me what I needed Stole away my secrets How could I deserve your love for me? Even in my weakness You are always there I can see your life chasing after me You are good to me
after me You are good to me I can hear your voice calling out for me You are good to me Memory Verse Hi, my name is Gracelyn and I work with the preschoolers and kindergartners here at College Heights. And this is our verse for this week. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death on a cross. Philippians 2.8 Hi, I'm Cole Kimberly, and I serve in CH Kids Elementary. And I'm going to be giving you the memory verse for this week. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Philippians 2.8 Gospel message. Jesus died in my place for my sins and rose again to bring new life with God. Hey Zeus, morir en mi lugar por mis pecados y necesito para vivir con Dios. It's time to pray! Hi, I'm Lisa, and I work in Toddler Town at College Heights. Let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for this day, and we are just so thankful to be able to hear your word, and I pray that we can be like um, uh, all the people that were in Jerusalem welcoming King Jesus, that we can welcome Jesus into our hearts and also make him king of our hearts, that it would help us to love others. In your son's name that I pray, amen. Amen.